So. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brian, what, what are we doing here? Um, we're going, we're talking today about uh, Heifer International, which is a nonprofit charitable organization um, with aims around the world to um, help solve hunger, poverty, and environmental problems, um, especially in developing nations. Um, they've done a lot of work in places such as China, um, Latin America, all around the world. Um, they've accomplished this a lot by agricultural pro uh, projects. Um, they help um, farmers uh, re-irrigate fields, help teach them about um, non-damaging pesticides, things such as that. Um, they also have a unique fun uh, fundraising strategy where they will actually, uh, you can, uh, if you donate money, you can adopt an animal in a um, developing nation. And when that animal reproduces, its offspring are given to local families. So in a way, you're actually helping out the local areas and the local farmers. Yeah. And by the way, this is Brian Gersley. I'm Annika Amato. We're in Geography 101 with uh, Professor uh, Dorn. Dorn. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's an online class, so this is our service project. And um, I figured that, that um, Alton Brown, he could tell you exactly what um, Heifer is all about in 60 seconds. So here you go. I'm Alton Brown, and I used to have a goat. Where did my goat go? Well, it went to a family who really needed it, just like the uh, heifer cow I used to have and the water buffalo, which was really too big for my place anyway. Now, why send livestock? Why not say tractors? Because giving an animal is like giving someone a small business. All that wool, the milk, the eggs turn into income for medicine, school, clothing, a better home, a sustainable livelihood. It even produces fertilizer for crops. And of course, it makes more livestock, because you know, animals make baby animals, that's what they do. The next thing you know, the family that you gave your gift to is passing on the gift to the animal's offspring to another family who does the same thing, and so on and so on, until pretty soon, you have helped to lift an entire community out of poverty, all with your gift to Heifer International. That is a recipe for lasting change. Okay. I'm just going to put up on here kind of a sample of the gift catalog that um, when you become working in the workforce, you might want to donate or give, and you can buy animals um, to, to help out local communities in, in developing nations. But um, there is one specific a project, a small project that I kind of wanted to talk about today, and that is in Danba, China. This is um, a modern Japan class, and there is, Heifer doesn't really work in um, Japan because Japan's a kind of a first world nation, and they, they're very wealthy, and they, they're not developing. So um, I chose a project in China, in the Sichuan province, um, near Danba, and there was a man there that received um, a herd of goats, so he, he got 12 goats in two, uh, 2002. And what heifer, heifer tries to do is put in um, like superior breeds of stock so that, that uh, the genetics are really good and, and strong. And um, this particular person that received the 12 goats um, is able to sell his animals for higher prices. And also um, in three years, uh, he, he has a herd of like 230 goats now. So he's able to build a house, send his children to school, they have food security and um, he also passed on to other people in the community 12 other goats. So everyone else is getting the goats as well. And then also um, kind of Heifer's pre um, premise is to get the communities together. And so by, by donating the gifts of livestock to other people, um, the community kind of bonds together and makes it better. But, um, and the last thing I want to talk about is that UAA does have community involved, um, community engaged student assistance. And we actually have two here in our class, <laughs> Shane and Alyssa Logan, right here. Um, they volunteer. Um, they, they know quite a bit about Heifer um, International Service Projects. And uh, they've also received special training in service learning advocacy. So thank you for your time. Have a great evening. Thank you.